Hello subscribers, here's another review. This time it's the um, uh, Mattel Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Battle Damage Mini Dino Multipack. Now, this is this only costs $10 at Walmart, and it's actually a really good deal for 15 uh, well-detailed and sculpted dinosaurs. Um, back in 2015, Hasbro released a similar set, but that cost $15, and honestly, um, uh, $15 isn't really worth it for a pack of mini dinos, but I think $10 is, because this is a really good deal right here in my opinion. So, um, let's get this out of the way. Let's take a look at the packaging first before we take a look at um, the dinosaurs. See, the packaging's like this um, bag right here. It's got, you know, dinosaur hatching out of the egg, Mount Sabo erupting, and all this other stuff in the front, including the artwork of the T-Rex right there, and then the Battle Damage logo. And in the back, of course, you get all the other, um, you get all the dinosaurs that comes in the set. And these are all different from their blind bag versions, because most of these don't have articulation, except for, you know, the Mosasaur. So let's take a look at the dinosaurs now. Now let's start looking at the um, dinosaurs. First up we have the Stegosaurus here. The detailing on here is pretty nice for a minifigure. Sorry, uh, glitch there for a little bit. Yeah, here's Stegosaurus. Pretty cool. It's in kind of based off the action attack Stegosaurus. But it's in like this uh, like defense stance. Nothing much to say about it other than I really don't like the battle damage, but yeah, nothing else to say about this other than it's, you know, a green stegosaurus, green stegosaurus with a battle damage wound. Pretty cool figure. So let's start by taking a look at the next one. Let's take a look at this one, which is the um, Triceratops. Uh, detailing kind of similar to the Roarverse Triceratops, which this figure is loosely based off of. It does look like the Jurassic Park or Jurassic World Triceratops. So um, here it is next to... Um, its larger counterpart. But this one actually has, you know, a walking pose, because this pose is just boring in my opinion. Sorry, I have to go quick on some of these. But yeah, that is the um, Triceratops. Looks really cool. I don't have the blind bag Triceratops yet, sadly. Yeah, it's an uh, awesome figure. So that uh, that's Triceratops, a light brown Triceratops. Next up, let's take a look at this one. The Metriacanthosaurus. And unlike the Roarvors Metriacanthosaurus, this one actually reminds me of a Metriacanthosaurus. Because the Roarvors uh, one reminds me more of like a Giganotosaurus. But this one actually, like I said, reminds me of a Metriacanthosaurus. Of course it has that ugly battle damage wound right there. I would have preferred it uh, without it. And it does stand fairly well on its own. And I wish the Roarvor Metriacanthosaurus was in this pose with its tail raised and, you know, its body and head neck and head raise so it wouldn't have so much issues balancing so yeah let's just compare this um metricanthosaurus to the blind bag metricanthosaurus and the roar wars metricanthosaurus see how similar all these figures look but see how this one's leaning down giving it balancing issues i wish it was sculpted like more like that or like that so let's get this out of the way yep that is the metricanthosaurus pretty cool figure it's like a yellow metricanthosaurus. Next up, let's take out this one. Here we have the Allosaurus. Kind of see, of course, it's based off the Roar Wars Allosaurus because of the pose, and he looks like he still's got that silly grin as the Roar Wars one had. And of course, this one has the poorly painted battle damage. It's kind of ugly. Yeah, but this one has a decent amount of detailing right here. And, um, yeah, this one does balance much better than its, um, larger counterpart. So, uh, let's, here, let's compare, um, let's compare this Allosaurus to, um, its larger counterpart. See, the detailing is similar, and also the pose. Yeah, that is the, um, oh, uh, that is the, um, mini Allosaurus. It's pretty cool. Even though I wish they kind of fixed the silly grin, though. Next up, let's take a look at this one, the Pteranodon. Of course, taking a look at the color scheme, this is based off the um, a Wave 2 Roarvor's Pteranodon. And I don't have that figure yet, so I really can't compare this guy with anything. But here we have some nicely detailed, and of course blue and red. This one actually has two colors, thankfully. See the head skull right there? And yeah, that is it. That's the Pteranodon. Pretty cool, pretty cool, even though... It kind of looks a little too um, bulky up here. See, uh, one last look at it. 
the next up, let's take a look at this one right here. This is the Apatosaurus. And now, if you take a closer look at the, um, the sculpt, it actually uh, resembles the Jurassic World Apatosaurus. It actually, actually looks really nice. It got all the uh, lines and skin folds in the neck and also all the musculature. Is that in all the toes right here? It's just actually a really nice um, rendition of the Jurassic World Apatosaurus. So for a quick comparison, here is the um, blind bag mini Apatosaurus, which I kind of prefer because it has you know two different colors and um, neck articulation. See, uh, both are very similar, and they both resemble the Jurassic World Apatosaurus. And as of now, these are the only two um, Apatosaurus figures you can get for Mattel's Jurassic World toy line. But hopefully, they release a big Apatosaurus figure in the future. Well, that's what basically every Jurassic Park fan is hoping for. So yeah, that is the uh, um, Apatosaurus. It's uh, really awesome. Probably one of my favorite figures in the set. So yeah, let's take a look at uh, this figure now. Which is probably my least fa uh, favorite figure in the set, which is uh, Velociraptor Blue. The posture is pretty cool, but I just don't like the oversized hands and the oversized feet. The feet are way too big. We see it's in this cool pouncing pose. Of course, it got the blue streak right there, but it doesn't continue all the way down. So see, here's it from one side, and here's it from the um, other side. So let's compare this blue figure to the blind bag blue. Sorry, the blind bag blue that has leg articulation, and the attack pack blue. See how similar all these figures look. Hey, yeah, that is Velociraptor Blue. Let's move on to the next one. Here we have the Dilophosaurus. A, a light green Dilophosaurus. Yeah, the body proportions do look kind of weird though. Like, you know, the big hands. And the legs kind of look short. But overall, this figure, it's okay though. Not really my favorite in the set though. But the frill is nicely detailed though. See all the nice, decent detailings right there. And it stands fairly well despite the frill. I think this mini Dilophosaurus is based off the Wave 2 Legacy water spitting Dilophosaurus. While the blind bag one is based off the attack bag Dilophosaurus. So let's compare this guy to the attack bag Dilophosaurus. See this one's like more in an upright stance. This one's more of like, you know, um, a more horizontal stance. So, so oh, crazy felt. So that is the um, Dilophosaurus. Not much to say about it other than it's, it's a, a, a plain green Dilophosaurus. Next up, let's take a look at this one. This is the... Oh, sorry, my video's... Okay, here it is. This is the Baryonyx. And it doesn't really uh, remind me of... Um, it doesn't really remind me of a Baryonyx. It reminds me more of a Sukumimus. But then again, this is based off the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Baryonyx because of, you know, its small arms and then the crocodilian scoots. It's not this kind of look of thin, though. So yeah, in terms of the skull, this is more scientifically accurate than what we've seen in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Yeah, not really my favorite figure in the set, though. But uh, let's compare it to the, the better um, mini blind bag Baryonyx figure and, of course, Roarvor's Baryonyx. Here we have all of them right here. See, this one uh, looks more like... In, for the minifigures, this one looks more like the Baryonyx in the film than this one does. So yeah, three Baryonyx figures for Mattel's Jurassic World Toy Line. There is a fourth one that... It, it's like a redhead Baryonyx that comes with the Lava Slime playset. But it's not out yet, though. At least in the U.S. Yep, that is the um, Baryonyx. Uh, looks pretty cool though, but not really my favorite in the set though. Next up, let's bring out the dinosaur that everyone was excited to see in Fallen Kingdom. Fan favorite, Carnotaurus. Now this Carnotaurus, the pose on here is similar to um, the Papa Carnotaurus. And despite the pose, it balances really well. And you got all the nice detailing, you see the scoots right here. And of course, typical Carnotaur horns and, and the uh, scoots going down. And this is um, loosely based off the um, Action Attack Carnotaurus by looking at the head sculpt. Let's bring out that figure right now. And I don't have the um, blind bag Carnotaurus yet. And here you have the Carnotaurus. See how similar the, he the head sculpts are? 
So yeah, that is the um, Carnotaurus. It's a pretty cool figure. One of my favorite figures in the set. This is one last look at him. Next up, let's get into uh, this guy right here. Uh, the big bad dinosaur of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. The most dangerous creature that ever walked the earth. The Indoraptor. See how awesome this figure looks? Even though my only issue is that the neck seems kind of short and the head seems kind of big. I think the blind bag one looks a little better, but I don't have that one yet. Yeah, see, for a minifigure, paint job looks relatively movie accurate. And it's in that uh, crawling pose where it was on top of the, the mansion um, approaching Owen and Maisie on top of the museum roof. And it, and it looks pretty cool too. And it's, of course, uh, made of a uh, rubbery material. And let's compare it to the big superposable Indoraptor, which I posed uh, similarly to this minifigure for the review. See how nice they look next to each other. Hey, that is that is the um, um, Indoraptor. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I've, the blind bag one is in a similar pose. Okay, now let's get down to the last three. Here we have everyone's favorite T Rex, a uh, Rexy. It, it's a it actually looks very movie accurate, but the only thing I don't like is the hips are too wide. At least it uses two different colors. You know, a brown and then a darker brown. See, the detailings in here is actually really nice. And, it, and despite the pose, she balances well. I think this is based off the Extreme Chomping Rex. Let's compare this to um the Blind Bag Rex, which I kind of prefer because the proportions are a little bit better and the hips aren't wide. Yeah, this one's based off the Thrash and Throw. See uh, how similar they look though? Similar details. Yep, that is uh, Rexy. Let's move on to the last two. Here is my second favorite figure of the entire set. The Mosasaurus. Look how awesome this looks. Of course, this has the best detailing right here. And it's the biggest figure of the set. And the only one that has articulation. See all the crocodilian like scoots right here? And this is based off the real field Mosasaurus, which I can't compare because that figure is too big to fit on my desk. See all the nice detailings? This probably has the best detailings. And it's actually very movie accurate too. See, like you know how he's, uh, how she's jumping out to, uh, grab her prey. Yeah, that's my sec. This is my second fi favorite figure of the set, the Mosasaurus. Now let's move on to um, my favorite figure of the entire set. Let's bring her out right now. The Indominus Rex. See how movie accurate this Indominus Rex looks. This is actually more movie accurate and better than all of Hasbro's Indominus. I still like the electronic Indominus, but this one just has better proportions and is more movie accurate. See all the musculature right there? the Her um, horns or crests and all the scoots going down. It's in a roaring pose. Sorry, you can't really see it, but... Because uh, she is camouflaged to my um, white desk. And she is molded in a translucent plastic to give off the effect, you know, that she's camouflaging. So, let's compare this awesome figure to, um, uh, to the, um, blind bag. In I, I mean, uh, the mini Dinos 3-pack Indominus. See, this one's better, because, see, this one has skinny arms and skinny legs. Still resembles the Indominus, but this one just has more muscle and detail to it. And it reminds me more of the Indominus than, um, that one right there. So let's bring out uh, my five favorite figures from the set. <clears throat> Sorry, it's taking a, kind of taking a long time. So here are my um, five favorite figures from the set. My sixth favorite is probably the Apatosaurus, then seventh the Indoraptor. These are my top five favorites from the set: Stygi Moloch, uh, Stygi Moloch, Indominus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex, Mosasaurus, and Carnotaurus. So, I give this set an 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, you can find that Walmart for $10. It's a good deal. So, if you like this video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review.